Around Lake Minnesota, Boy has been surrounded by well wishes in his battle against a rare and aggressive form of cancer. As Kelloland's Tom Hansen explains, his parents say they could not have gotten through this difficult time without that support. It's been a long road for a 16 year old Minnesota boy battling bone cancer. Ty Olson was diagnosed with metastatic Ewing sarcoma two years ago. His dad says he began his first round of treatment on his 14th birthday. A very witty. He, he could make you laugh. Easiest could be. Ty had a short remission, but earlier this year, doctors told his parents there was nothing more that could be done to stop the cancer. So they concentrated on what Ty loved hunting, fishing, and racing. He fought very hard and tried going to all the races that he could. Um, even he'd want to hurry up and get home from chemo to go to the races or radiation to go to the races or even against mom's objections sometimes. <laughs> Lori and Randy reached out and the racing community reached right back. First, it was one of Ty's favorite dirt track racers, David Gravel. Ty, what's going on? Hopefully it's one of your favorite World of All Lost sprint car drivers here, David Gravel. Ty was elated, and then came the message from the top name in racing right now. Kyle Larson. Shortly after winning the NASCAR championship, Kyle Larson wanted to talk with Ty. Hey, Ty. Um, I've had a lot of people reach out to me here lately and let me know that you are one of my biggest fans. So... Lori says Ty's face lit up and he couldn't believe that Kyle Larson was talking to him. I've been rooting a lot for you here and I just want to let you know to keep fighting. I know he's busy. NASCAR just ended. He's the champion. Um, he's got a lot going on. So we didn't honestly think we'd hear from Kyle. Um, so I was kind of shocked. It really didn't surprise me that he was willing to do it because he's a grassroots dirt track guy living his dream. The message brought some much needed cheer to the Olson family. With two other children to care for and Ty in home hospice, it's been a tough holiday season. On Thanksgiving, Ty cried because he said it would be his last one with his family. I couldn't even really buy, bring myself to buy Christmas gifts this year. It's just been rough. One of Ty's other passions was fishing. An ice fishing trip with his dad, originally scheduled for January, was moved up as Ty's condition got worse. Ty was disappointed when they had to come back early, but Randy told us he could tell his son was struggling. Never in a million years thought we'd go from 6 o'clock last night, him reeling in a 20-inch walleye to being unresponsive laying in bed right now. I just can't believe it. Yesterday afternoon, Ty's condition got worse. As a parent to go through this, it's pure hell to watch your child suffer and know there's nothing you can do to make him better. You know, there's a damn thing you can do about it. Just wish it was me and honey. Ty slipped into a coma-like state. Ten hours after this interview, at 11.27 last night, he died in the arms of his parents. The last things we, we talked about was we told him that we loved him, and he told us he loved us, and we just kept telling him over and over again that we loved him, we were proud of him. He did everything he could. Even though Ty did not get to choose the road he traveled at the end of his life, the Olsons want all those who reached out to know that they made a difference. And it was a comfort to know that others had their hands on the wheel at the end of Ty's journey. Tom Hansen, Kelloland News. We have provided the link to the GoFundMe to help pay for Ty's funeral expenses on Kelloland.com. And our condolences to his family.